Hallelujah. Praise God. We're in December 2018. And we're bringing you good news for all eternity. Praise God. This is not limited to this year or 2019. If we live to see. Press, well, but this is for it all eternity. For you and me. More men, women, boys, and girls. Mm, throughout the world. Praise God. All right, some of the recent, uh, um, I want to encourage everyone to give their life to Jesus Christ because uh, it's all about eternal life. When people are etern eternal for eternity, you, you either spend your eternity with God, which is in love, joy, peace, happiness, new body, uh, immortal body, uh, mansions made of gold, streets of gold, uh, new, new Jerusalem, city made of gold, or separated from God uh, with the devil, burning forever in hell, lake of fire. And it's real. I have a near-death experience in which I was dropping into hell because I didn't do, th um, do the thing that God called me to do, these songs. Yeah. To bring his revelation <laughs> from Genesis to Revelation, praise God, to all human. All right, so um, when I was dropping into hell, I was in another body, not this physical body, and you have no control over that body because I was twisting and turning. I was saying, I was trying to fight it, um, that I believe in Jesus Christ, which is the only Savior, yeah, and that I'm saved. I'm, I'm not supposed to drop in into hell. It was horrific beyond words. Feel no love, you can't feel God like me and you can feel God in this life. No joy, no happiness, uh, terror, untold terror. And no one going to know where you are. And dropping in out of in darkness, blackness. Um, I haven't reached the fire in hell yet. But when I realized I couldn't help myself and what I was saying wasn't um, applying, uh, was making a difference. I said, Jesus saved me. And boom, I came right back in my body. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, all these near death experience, take heed. And these messages that hell is real. And a lot of people have near death experience and went to heaven. But more so, there's people that the Lord brought to hell and showed them that hell is real. They see the millions down there that lost their soul. A lot of them send back messages to warn us that are alive. We must believe in Jesus Christ and live for him. And a lot of people, the Lord tore to heaven, and, and they come back, bring them back. Some near that experience, some the Lord um, um, bring uh, and show them heaven, whether a vision or translate them uh, in the term of um, their spirit. Uh, the Lord know how to do this because we are physical and spirit being. The real me is in this body. That's why when I was dropping into hell, I could feel everything. Everything was hyping. More than how I can feel things. I was sharp, uh, sharply aware of everything and feeling and touch and everything. Um, and also what you have done in this life. So um, the Lord can translate us and to heaven or hell and to let us know um, both places real. And it's for us to, to make the choice to live for him. Believe in Jesus Christ. John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And verse 17 says, that's John chapter 3, verse 17 saying now, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world. Jesus didn't come to condemn you, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus come to save you and I. Praise God. So we must believe in him. And we must be obedient to his word because that's one of the reasons why, why I have a, a, that near that experience um, uh, as I give my testimony over the years, over the period on these for, um, comments that I undergo three, four operations, surgical operations and uh, by a physician. And the first one was in uh, Japan. They almost lost me on the table in Japan. And also... Thank God I wake up. And the and last one was in Alaska. 
crazy. I, it was in Alaska that the Lord gave me the vision that for me to um, take the reggae music back. Uh, he blessed Jamaica with the most powerful music, or with the uh, yeah. And it's because the uh, Jamaican people, the older generations, they grow, they love him with a true love, and they grow us up right. Uh, that's what I get in the vision, and um, it's for me to take the reggae music back. And so I start writing at that time and even do, um, uh, what they call it, um, they have contests up there in which I participate and I play music in the choir and, you know, the church, uh, praise God. And so we sing and, and I start singing and writing songs, but I wasn't taking it serious, um, until after, more so after the um, near that experience, praise God, because uh, um, we have to be serious about what God called us to do. We, we have to get busy when God called you to do something. You have to get busy with it, because if you don't, if you don't, it's a form of disobedient, uh, and you can lose your soul. And it's not one save, always save. Uh, um, in some cases, that's right because God saved you forever. However, it's up to the individual to continue with Jesus Christ and living for Him. And doing what you, God called you to do. So you, you can lose your, your soul if you turn from Jesus Christ. Yeah, so um, there's a lot of near-death experience and a lot of people in which the Lord give messages and they put it on YouTube, on the World Wide Net, World Wide Web. Put it in. Yeah. And so um, some of the more recent and some of those that I want you to check out is uh, Heaven is Real. Heaven is Real, Hell is Real by Jane Cora. And here's here's one you must watch this one, and listen to it on YouTube. It's a experience that the Lord brought these people, um, to, uh, so that he, they can share it with us, in the land of the living, so we can um, make the right choice in obeying God through His Son Jesus Christ. Uh, here here's a YouTube greatest heaven visit testimony. Gr the greatest Heaven Visit Testimony. You have to watch it. Uh-huh. By Captain Knowledge. Greatest Heaven Visit visit Testimony. And watch all of those. Listen to them. Yeah. Um, you can also verify it with, in the Bible, the Word of God, between Genesis and Revelation. Yeah, no other book. Just the Bible. Praise God. Unless they've written other books to... Um, from the insp inspiration of um, teaching you of the Bible between Genesis and Revelation. Uh -huh. So no one can save you, nobody, no other religion, not Mormonism, uh, uh, Watchtower. Uh, I don't even call them Jehovah Witness because the people that, uh, that witness in the true faith of Jesus Christ, uh, they are the right Jehovah Witness. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's blasphemy these people using uh, the word Jehovah Witness. No. If you watched or you watched or. Because uh, the devil is, is, um, can be watched or. Yeah. Jesus and Satan is not brother. Jesus Christ is God himself in the flesh. That came in the flesh. You know, John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. The same was with God in the beginning. And the word became flesh and dwell among us. Yes. And um, 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 Mormonism, all of those. Uh, hell is real. There is real fire in hell. Yes. So all these uh, are cult. Occult. Mm, you must believe in the Bible, the way of the Lord. Yes. And go to a church where they worship Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. Come on, you have the Word of God, the Bible. You have, you have um, churches that they minister the Word everywhere, all over the world. Come on, get away from these cult uh, and occult, and uh, get away from uh, false religion, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, uh, Shintoism, uh, yoga. All of those are, are hellish and devilish and um, lead your soul to hell. Stop putting tattoo on your body. Uh, yes, watch this YouTube. Here it is. Here, here's the YouTube. Uh, I believe I, this YouTube identify about uh, a lot of people in 
that put tattoo on their body and mark their body and do things like that. And they lost their soul, a lot of them. There's different compartments in hell. Millions of people in hell uh, for all kind of different reasons. Uh, more so they didn't obey Jesus. Uh, all kind of different sin, rather. But more so they didn't uh, follow the Lord. Uh, and here's a YouTube that cover a lot of them. A lot of um, sins that will land you in hell, land us in hell as human beings. And the devil is send demons, and the demons are everywhere all over the world. They are organized, and they are smarter than me and you. The only way we overcome them is through Jesus Christ and being obedient to God's word between Genesis and Revelation. Here's a YouTube that cover a lot. Uh, Princess Diana, Gaddafi, Michael Jackson, smokers, prostitutes, pastors in hell. And that covers a whole lot. Yeah. That's Princess Diana, Gaddafi, Michael Jackson, smokers, prostitute passes in hell. Uh, watch that YouTube, pull it up on the World Wide Web. Watch them, listen to the message. Listen, uh, don't be, um, don't be um, turned away by the word YouTube. That's where people put messages. What the, watch that message uh, on YouTube. The Lord brought this person to hell and showed them all these famous people and rich people. Uh, if you don't rich in Jesus Christ by giving your life to, to him, as your Savior and Lord, uh, uh, you're 30, 40, 50, 50 years in this life, 70, 80, 90, uh, if you're um, very pri privileged to. It's nothing. Your eternity lies in front of you. That's the main thing. And don't be um, taken by uh, this world and this worldly pleasure. It will land us uh, uh, and separate us from God because it's a trick from the devil. Real joy and peace and love come from God. We have to fight the flesh, fight temptation, and fight the devil, demons, um, temptation, and all of that. The loss of the flesh, loss of the eye, and the pride of life, the Bible says. In modern term, we call we say money, power, and sex. So uh, so the, uh, the message on YouTube or the World Wide Web, watch it. Put it in your computer, on your phone, uh, your tablet. Um, check it out. Listen to the message. It's, uh, it's real. It's true. Um, that's Princess Diana, Gaddafi, Michael Jackson, smokers, prostitutes, pastors in hell. Yeah, and they cover a lot more. Put put in tattoo on your body, you land up in hell. That, uh, that's a, a form of Satan. Satan is the Lord tells us in Leviticus chapter 18, 19, 20, not to do that. Don't even put tattoo on your body. Said I love Jesus. No, use in rebellion um, because the Lord are already telling you not to. That's, that's something you have to have in your heart. Yeah, that can't save you. Tattoo that says God, Jesus, I love Jesus, or, or anything like that, or a statue of Jesus on your body. No. Uh, and and uh, YouTube, if you notice, uh, Princess Diana, Gaddafi, Michael Jackson, smokers, prostitutes, pastors in hell. Uh, pastors are in hell. Um, um, for different reason, but um, this person that the Lord show brought to hell and showed this pastor in which the demons is is sticking him, stabbing him, constantly, round the clock. Yeah, because there's no night and day in hell. You can't sit or stand. Uh, you can't sit or relax. Uh, it's constant torment. This hell was made for the devil and his amen and his angel, them demons. Uh, yeah, and that's sent much. That's Matthew chapter twenty-five. Read it for yourself. Uh, yeah, and it's all over, over all through the Bible. Um, yeah, so um, the pastor, that pastor, uh, didn't thought tidings was relevant and for him, uh, and so uh, he ended up in hell. We have to be obedient in order so that we go to heaven. Yeah, and so that's Princess Diana got off in Michael Jackson smokers prost prostitute pastors in hell. All right, so. Uh, uh, most recent YouTube I watch is why am I dreaming about Obama now? And read the comments. Oh, the comments uh, will enlighten you. Uh, because a lot of people know that this man is the Antichrist, is the beast, son of perdition. The Bible said, a man of lawlessness, man of sins. Uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 talk about Obama, the Antichrist. Last world leader before Christ come back. Put together Satan's plan to bring millions, even billions, to hell. Yeah. 
So uh, that's a, a mark of the beast, a microchip in you. You become part of Satan. You become like a zombie. Uh, change your identity. Uh, it's, it's caused cancer also, but more so you cannot be saved. Don't love uh, um, Obama and all of them and the false prophet. It's a, it's a religious leader, uh, well-known religious leader, famous throughout the world that tell the people, deceive the people that it's okay to go along with the beast, or go, or okay to go about along with Obama. They some, some said it's the Pope, and more than likely he is. Uh, so all of them will be cast into the lake of fire, burned forever in, in hell and lake of fire forever with Satan and demons. Uh, uh, lake of fire is terrible, people. Uh, I want you to watch a message by Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire Testimony. Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire Testimony. Put it in your computer, World Wide Web, on your phone, and listen to the message. This powerful man of man was a military army, uh, was a soldier, and so um, hard age man. He break down and cry because the angel tell him to tell us on earth, warn us not to come there. And tell them not to come here because that lake of fire is so terrible because it's made, uh, put together to punish Satan who was an archangel in heaven. So make sure you don't... Um, um, Lose your soul. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't take the mark of the beast. Don't love Obama and all of them. The Pope, uh, Hillary, uh, uh, Oprah, all these people um, sending on, on the other side, the opposite side of Jesus Christ. Unless they repent, give their life to Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, and turn from the Satanist, Illuminatist. Sat Satan is no more the Illuminati one, the bright one. He's the dark one, darker than dark. Uh, have millions in hell, torment them, demons punishing people in hell, worms eating them alive, they're burning, and torment, night and, uh, no night and day, constantly, because there's no night there or day in hell, it's just constantly, because it was made for them, demons, to punish them, they're, they're rebelling against God, God kicks Satan out of heaven because of pride, he want to absorb God's glory, I want to be, um, read it for yourself, Isaiah chapter 11, 12, 13, 14, Oh, you read some of that, but read from Genesis to Revelation. All right, now, uh, uh, so he's no more the Illuminati one. So all these Satanists and Illuminatis and um, devil worshippers and um, witches, uh, warlocks, and so on, those are of the devil uh, in, in opposition of God. Homosexuality is one of the greatest, is abomination to God. Destroy, destroy a person and their lives and the family and the nation. Uh, I have the example there in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Read it for yourself. Uh -huh. That's in Genesis. Yeah. So don't you die and go to hell and the lake of fire. Burn forever. Torment forever and ever. Mm. Um, yeah. So um, so what's the, what's the message? Uh, why am I dreaming about Obama? Because the Lord is telling people who the, uh, who this man of sin is. Is uh, 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 opposition, uh, like a son of the devil, sold out his soul to the devil. People stop selling out his soul to the devil uh, for money and fame and riches. No, riches, uh, glory, fame. All you um, um, movie stars and uh, and and um, popular people stop doing it, and and rich and people that are. Uh, governmental people and uh, yeah, yeah, people of all sort, uh, sports, uh, s soccer is of the uh, is of the devil, football, uh, um, and and I believe it's in that same YouTube in um, Princess Diana Gaddafi, Michael Jackson, smokers, prostitute, passes in hell, uh, and many other um, YouTube such as such as Angelica Zambrano, Heaven and Hell Experience. And Angelica Zambrano. Angelica Zambrano is a young lady that the Lord brought tore through hell and show her the reality of millions of people down there doomed. Uh -huh. And uh, show, show her heaven. So football, soccer, and a lot of them soccer players um, is soling out their soul uh, to be famous and to be uh, skillful in playing soccer. No, uh, soccer is, is played in the spiritual realm and it's derived from hell. 
in which um, demons kicking around skull of human being uh, in 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 rebellion against God and how much they hate us. So I used to love soccer, but not no more. And what um, that's who is, is a lot of others that call ball. Uh, they uh, worship it. People worship it. Worship these things instead of God. Sports. Uh, so um, be aware, people, throughout the world. All right. So let's watch these messages and a lot of um, prophetic messages that the Lord sent. Praise God. And here, some great teacher. Here's one. Many Christians are heading to hell. And this is from Francis Chan. This man is a great teacher, humble man of God. And, uh, you know, God tells us not um, in the last, um, when we stand before him, a lot of people that before, or when they die, or even before a judgment, um, they're going to be cast away. They're going to say, Lord, Lord, I did this for you and that. Uh, don't you remember me? Don't you know me? And the Lord said, depart from me. I know you're not. You're workers of iniquity. Uh, we have to do things humbly and walk in the way of the Lord, not after our own ideal. And this this man, Francis Chan, great teacher, uh, he studied Greek and uh, he studied Hebrews and, and those languages so he can understand God's word. And he's deep and humble. Why am I dreaming about Obama? Uh, watch it for yourself. Uh, yes. And comments, a lot of them comments. Read Roger's comments. He said, um, oh, man. Beloveds, we must sound the alarm. And that's Isaiah 21, verse 6. We must sound the alarm. Warn the people. Um, we're warning you. This is a warning, people. We are watchmen declaring what we see, what we hear, what God shows. It's in the Bible. Read it for yourself from Genesis to Revelation. I have a vision. I had a vision of the rapture three times. The coming asteroid, the third temple. The Revelation chapter 12 sign. The, uh, the fourth apocalypse horseman. And I have also seen the Lord in a vision. But I couldn't see his face because, because it shined like the sun. Several years ago, God gave me a vision of Obama. He had on a turban, Islamic, and had a wound in his forehead. He is the Islamic Antichrist beast. All Muslim leaders know that Obama is a secret Muslim. All Muslim leaders know that Obama is a secret Muslim. Yes. Several years ago, God gave me a vision of Obama. He had on a turban, Islamist turban on their head, like these ISIS and them, and had a wound in his forehead. He is the Islamic Antichrist beast. All Muslim leaders know that Obama is a secret Muslim and is using Tahija to deceive the mass, to deceive the people of the world. And, and that word Tahija he using in, in Islam, in the uh, Quran, um, and those instruction, it's all from the pits of hell. Um, and you can watch it yourself, um, in which a Muslim guy, he, and he died, or he stand before J Jesus Christ in judgment. And he said, Allah, I call upon you, you didn't help me. But Jesus said, I'm not your Allah. Your Allah is a demon down in hell that you all worship. Yeah. So that, that man, and the Lord sent him back in this life. He came back in his body. He's still alive. I mean, he came back alive and give that testimony on YouTube. He's on YouTube. So Islam, uh, so Tija, Islam is taught, uh, the, is, the Muslim are taught, uh, also is in Islam, um, to deceive, saying, uh, Allah said, deceive them, lie to them, deceive, deceive the uh, infidel. So Tahija, T A K T A Q I Y Y A um, means to lie, to deceive, deceive the infidel. But our ch the true God said uh, for us not to lie or deceive. So you know uh, who is a liar? Satan is a liar and the father of all lies. So you know Islam uh, and this um, Allah that they serve is is a devil. 
So I pray, and a lot of them people is turning to Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. So watch that YouTube. Um, why am I dreaming about Obama? And listen to the comment. A lot of people comment, oh, yes, I know he's the Antichrist. And they have dream visions. Uh -huh. And so a lot of uh, Muslims is giving their life to Christ. Mm. We have a good president. Yeah. Pri uh, president Trump. Amen. And so we must uh, praise God for him. Yeah. He said, if we ever stay devoted um, to our creator, our best days are yet ahead. President Trump said, if we ever stay devoted to our creator, our best days are yet ahead. But isn't that a good president that acknowledged God? Mm, yes, Trump. Go check it out, his message on, on, on the worldwide net. Mm, go to Trump. Uh, if uh, He says in colon, quote, if we if we ever stay devoted devoted to our Creator, our best days are yet ahead. Uh, if we ever stay devoted to our Creator, our best days are yet ahead. Yeah, that's a good president, man. Mm, you can't get better than that. Mm. Yeah, and also watch about President Trump. Uh, it said Trump tell all expose end time. Expose end time, incredible by, vis by visual. It's incredible. Okay, that's Trump tell all, expose end time. Incredible. You, have to, you ought to watch these. Come on now. Uh, listen to these good messages. Uh, a lot of Islam Islamists is turning their life to the Lord. A lot of Muslim. Uh -huh. And here's one. Muslim Imam saw Jesus. Saw Jesus cross in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Rare testimony. A Muslim Imam, and an Imam in in Muslim in is is like a, a minister or preacher in Christianity. Uh, it's a leader in the in the mass. Uh, so Muslim Imam saw Jesus cross uh, at Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Rare testimony. He gave his life to Jesus Christ. This man died serving Quran. He and he and daughter healed by Jesus. This man died serving Quran. He 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 and daughter healed by Jesus, and they give their life to Jesus. Here's another one: three ex-Muslim say Jesus is Lord. Watch it. Three ex-Muslims say Jesus is Lord. Here's another one. Muslims study history and found Jesus' life story. And this this um, um, fellow, he's smart, sharp, because he studied um, at the university there in Turkey. Uh, and a Muslim study history and found Jesus' life story. Daniel vision of Umar, the Islamic caliph. Learn from these. Come on. They all come up. All these are messages to us. Praise God. For us to give our life to Christ. People of all the sect and deception are turning back to the truth. Escape from. Here's, um, ch you know, check it out. Put it on, on your computer. World Wide Web. YouTube. Escape from hell. Ex-radical ex Muslim. Testimony. Uh, so you saw Jesus, praise God. Uh huh. How about this one? Catholic woman goes to hell, demon slice her flesh for unforgiveness, idolatry, worship and bow down to Mary and all of that, and saints. That's idolatry. And lying. Yeah, she dropped out of the bus and died. But Jesus saved her, brought her back to life. Uh, and she was delivered from out of hell, and she's telling the, the story. The demons down there was cutting her up. And you get punished down there in hell for what you've been doing in this life. Put on lipstick, uh, uh, put all your money into lipstick, and all these, these are worldly stuff, and hellish things, devils, demons. Uh, because you remember in Second Kings chapter 9 and 10, 
when King Jehu and President Trump is the type of Jehu that set things right. Uh, the corruption of Obama and Hillary and all of them uh, uh, getting ready to destroy uh, messed up America so that they can have the whole world. And so um, uh, he's a type of Jehu. Jehu was a mighty man and he set things right, uh, you know, powerfully. Yeah, and so, and you know, Jezebel, you all heard about Jezebel, that woman. Je uh, Ahab and Jezebel, they was messing up the pe um, people. Um, Obama, his, his, his wife, I forgot her name, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I forget her name. Uh, Hillary, all of those, these Satanists and so on. Oprah, all of them that go, not go in the way of the Lord. Um, yeah, so I almost mess up this Christian nation that the pilgrim come over here and put together as a Christian foundation from based on biblical values. Praise freedom of worship and praise in law. And the freedom of religion they put in there is freedom of, of Christianity. Not all these uh, false religion that have been coming over afterward. No. But however, um, it's freedom, so everyone have a choice. However, uh, since these people almost destroy America, God sent um, President Trump in with vigor. Praise God. And it's a type of, um, of Jehu, King Jehu. Uh, how he take over and destroy Jezebel, Ahab and Jezebel, that wicked woman. But that wicked woman, before she was killed, um, the eunuchs threw her down uh, off the um, high rise and kill her. Uh, after Jehu take over, God tells Jehu to take over and set things right. Uh, she was putting on makeup. So I'm still on the YouTube how people can be messed up and end up in hell. Makeup and all kind of different things. Um, doing your nails and all of that put nail, nail polish. All these things land in hell. Uh, if if you um, you get into them and put these priority before God and all of that, and and just just done away with it. Okay, celebrities in hell for ignoring God's word. Mm, that's, that's the word I was looking at. Celebrities, come on, give your life to Jesus Christ. Now here's another one. Jesus delivered me from. Alien and took me to heaven. All these are read real. How about three days heaven visit? Yes, you must watch them. Highly educated Hindu man converted to Christianity and give his testimony. Come on. How about this one? Pastor Muhammad best life story. Pastor Muhammad is, um, uh, is an ex-Muslim. Uh, no, he he's in the truth, living for Jesus. Is there in the Middle East? And um, helping uh, with the people and the youth and, and medical and all of that. Teaching them the truth. That's Pastor Muhammad, best life story. Daughter of Hamas, she tell her life story. And that means she give her life to the Lord. Come on. Jewish girl filled with the Holy Spirit and speak in tongue. Real lovely testimony. Come on, people everywhere is giving their life to Jesus Christ. Dr. Preeti, Hindu... Hindu girl met Jesus. Lovely story. Come on. Muslim study history and found Jesus. Story of a Turkish Muslim that give his life to Christ. Converted. Muslim man converted to Christianity. And this is by Raman Par Parsa. All right. So we have all of them. Make sure you watch YouTube. Also, Muhammad in Hell by Bora Choi. Muhammad in Hell by Bora Choi. Come on. You have to watch that. Uh, in, in which... You know, Jesus is, is the last, uh, no one's supposed to come after Jesus and said, I'm the, I'm the last prophet. All right. No, Hebrew, Hebrews tell us uh, in sundry time, Jesus came uh, at the right time, praise God, to rescue the people of the world. Uh, and so we must go by, uh, believe in him and be saved. We go by him. No one's supposed to come after him and said, um, this man was, I think it was the 6th century, uh, 500 uh AD um, after the gospels was preached and so on he said uh, he, watch it for yourself he, 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 uh, the, the North Korean pastor lady, lady that the Lord brought to hell and showed her Muhammad in hell he was in the lake of fire burning and 
he was talking to her uh, while he was burning and screaming and uh, warning the people, Muslim people, they must believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, he did the worst thing by by uh, creating, an, an, uh, he wanted to be like Jesus when he was young, he was very poor. And so he wanted to be a, have a nation of his own like Jesus, be great like Jesus. And he put together a nation, uh, start a rebellion. I think he did that rebellion in Mecca and Medina. He conquered there after they kicked him out. Uh, 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 start foolishness there. However, during that part, um, they, they used to worship the sun god, or the moon god also. And that's the um, uh, over there where they have the Kabul. Uh, people bow, um, thousands, millions of people bowing down um, there. And that's they worshiping the devil. They don't know. Uh, uh, that's where they used to worship the moon god. You have to watch um, David David Wood. Uh, make sure you watch David Wood's um, teaching on these because David Wood is a powerful man of God that study. Uh, see, the Lord going to warn us. And that's the warning that we have there. Uh -huh. So you, you people, so uh, watch it for yourself, Muhammad in Hell by Bo Choi. He sent back warning to warn people. The only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. And he even said uh, to uh, the lady, uh, a lot of the things in the Quran, he didn't say. He didn't, uh, he didn't put together a lot of the stuff in Quran. All right, here, here David Wood. Quran says Jesus Christ is the only Savior hereafter. Watch it on YouTube. How about original source of Quran's, original source Quran stole its stories from? And that's David Wood again. A great teacher, this man study and know about the Quran, inside out, top bottom, interior, exterior, posterior, anterior. Come on, uh, these men are specialists. Uh, yeah, and he bring you the truth. Five reasons the Quran is not the word of God. Watch it on YouTube. Uh, and this is an odd, odd, odd. Odd story here, but uh, this guy is a uh, mm make shocking confession about Islam. Why are you quizzy mm making makes shocking con uh, confession about Quran? Yeah, that that one is uh, some ad, and yeah. Uh, and I, I, I think that was the story in which um, this um, Imam said he, he's not going along with the regular Quran uh, uh, teaching of blowing up people, killing people. And he don't agree with that, something like that. Uh, his form of um, Quran or Islam is peaceable. But anyway, that way or any other way, once a false religion is a false religion. All right, so uh, you hear it yourself. Check it out. Praise God. Jesus Christ loves you. Amen. These messages are real. Amen. And match them to the Word of God from Genesis to Revelation. And read it for yourself uh, said, uh, in Matthew chapter 24, Matthew chapter 25. Come on. Uh, Revelation chapter 6, Revelation chapter 7, Revelation chapter 13, Revelation chapter 14, Revelation 19, 20, 21, 22, which is the conclusion on the beast uh, and the false prophet Obama, the false prophet uh, Pope. Uh, and all of them that love the beast and take his image uh, and worship his image and take his mark uh, will be cast alive into the lake of fire with Satan and demons and uh, fallen angels. Yeah, and these things about um, uh, um, UFO is demons. Demons play trick with us. Demons out there of all sort. Uh, you're trying to deceive the world. Uh, Jesus Christ is coming to destroy them. Believe in Jesus Christ. His return is imminent. Praise God. The rapture is imminent. Uh, in which he's going to caught us up, caught those that believe in him, in him and live in holy. Uh, we're going to change in a new body. And those that are uh, dead in Christ shall rise. And we will all caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Praise God. We're going to have a great celebration in heaven. Praise God. New body. New beautiful experience. The most beautiful beyond words. Uh, yes. A celebration. Uh, in heaven, um, that's First Corinthians chapter fifteen. First Corinthians chapter fifteen, approximately the fifty-second verse there and on, and 
First Thessalonians chapter four and chapter five. Read it for yourself. Praise God. First Thessalonians chapter four, chapter five. Praise God. Amen. Uh, after the rapture, the Holy Spirit will be gone, and those that live in for Christ, a lot of Christians that not live in holy will be left behind. A lot of people that know about the Bible, know about the truth, are going to be left behind, including those that rebel against God and not going the right way uh, with the beast. That's when he's going to take over, and then he's going to start implementing his mark, RFID chip. It's in the Obamacare, the affordable health care, uh, which make it mandatory for everyone to take the RFID chip, microchip in your body. That's Satan. Um, and uh, you become part of Satan, Satanic, uh, and are be beheaded by the guillotine. And uh, millions of, um, um, I heard millions of, they have millions of uh, coffins and uh, grave sites and hundreds of thousands of guillotines set up in these, in our um, FEMA camp. Uh, FEMA camp is a federal uh, emergency uh, uh Areas in which if there's a disaster, we can go there and be safe. But instead of that, the beast, Obama, going to use it opposite to kill off and to process out and put in chip uh, people. And um, they become zombie, demonic. Uh, don't you take those chips, rather die and go to heaven. Praise God. Because when the, by the time the, I watch a YouTube uh, or a message from the Lord, he said, by the time the blade touch your neck, you'll be out of your body. Praise God, and with Him. So don't be a fear, a fear about um, have them chop him, them chopping off your head, or use the guillotine chop your head off. Uh, uh, you give your life to Jesus Christ. Praise God. You go straight to heaven. Uh, don't don't be fearful and and don't be thinking that oh I'm saved. Uh, I'll just take the chip um, by by not uh, evading being killed. No, you take the chip. Uh, whether you believe in Jesus Christ, you take the chip, you submit to the devil. The demon, devils, you have the devil mark in you now. Uh, you, so you can't be saved. All right, so uh, we're going uh, with this song. So the, praise God. So the, uh, the name of this song is Worship Turn Into Praises. Come on. Worship Turn Into Praises. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. All right, we love you. Jesus loves you. We're going to sing the song, but we have some, we're going to read a, a Bible verse before we do that. Praise God. Uh huh. And we are at Acts chapter 6, the sixth chapter of Acts. Uh huh. Praise God. Before we bring this song, we're going to read a scripture, Acts chapter 6. You hear the comments from the uh, Word of God, what the Lord shows me. But you're going to you have, you have to hear the Word of God yourself being read to you. Acts chapter 6. And this is, uh, uh, you know, Acts, the beginning of Acts. Uh, Jesus Christ just came, praise God, and died for the. Uh, the sins of mankind, uh, a lamb without a um, uh, spotless lamb of God was offered up, praise God. Uh, but he came to shed his blood. Man didn't just take his, his life. It's not the Romans or the Jew that turned him up, uh, kill him and all those people rebellion. Uh, yes, it was in their heart. Uh, uh, they didn't want him. Uh, they didn't receive him. However, uh, as many as receive him to them, give he life to give us power to have eternal life we're going we're to have everlasting life however right after that praise god jesus died he gave up the ghost voluntarily yeah and and died but and then he was buried three days later he rose from the dead triumphantly and read it for yourself matthew chapter 28 verse 18 to 18 through 20 jesus rose from the dead and say all power is given unto me in heaven and earth Go ye into all the world, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, teaching them all what I have commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. So now, and, and 40 days, he spent approximately 40 days with his disciples and all of them there and teach them and encourage them. Then he was caught up into heaven. Uh, this is, that's not just a fact. That's the truth. Praise God. Amen. All right. So now, um, this is biblically and historically. Yeah, uh, so now um, the church just started, praise God. The Holy Spirit came on, on the day of Pentecost where uh, a lot of people, that's a celebration over there in the Jew, and a lot of proselytes, people from different r r country and nations of the world, they voluntarily become Jewish. They hear of the God of Abraham, Isaac, God of Jacob, how God delivered his people from slavery in northern Africa, from Egypt, and, and bring them there. To the promised land and they worship the true god 
So a lot of people, um, it was worshiping the true God they, um, and so on. So they was there uh, at Jerusalem right around that time. And when when the Holy Spirit come down upon these few um, um, Christians now, and the apostles and all of them, and now Jesus Christ come and died for the sins of the world uh, so that all people can be saved, not just the Jewish people, uh, know the, the one true God, but all people can know the one true God. And God did promise that to Abraham in, in Genesis chapter 12. That of your seed, um, all nations of the earth, all the families of the earth are going to be blessed. Seed, S-E-E-D, one person. For you, that's Jesus Christ. All right, so when Jesus Christ died now and was buried and raised from the dead and ascended to heaven, his disciples started spreading the good news. Just believe in Jesus Christ and be saved. He's the Son of God. The one that was promised, praise God. Even Moses said, uh, there's one coming after me. You must listen to him, obey him. He just like me. Praise God. Deliver us. Praise God. And he's the seed of, of, of Abraham, and he is the offspring of David, King David. So Jesus is going to rule the um, worldly, the earthly throne, and the heavenly throne, because he's God himself. Praise God. He's the living word of God. When God said, let there be light, let the, um, there was light. That's Jesus Christ. Uh, when God created things, uh, he's, he's the word, living word of God. But he became flesh. Uh, that's God became flesh to save us. I, um, yes, and you know how it went. Uh, uh, Mary was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and the angel of the Lord tell her, you're going to have a seed. Uh, and she said, uh, how am I going to have a child and I don't know a man? I never have sex or have uh, the experience being with a man. And the Holy Spirit and the, and the angel of the Lord tell her, the whole, you're going to be conceived by the Holy Spirit. You see? And so she conceived. And bear a son, and he shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Uh, see, that's what hinder us, sin of corruption of mankind. We are we are one race, Adam fallen race. And so God promised to save us. He said that in Genesis 1, when Adam, our foreparent, uh, messed up. And remember, there's no such thing as black man, white man, yellow man, red man, uh, sand man. No, those are wrong description. Uh, 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 I understand the whole world got repopulated from um, Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And ge geographically, it's good, it's best way to describe it. African-American, Asian-American, European-American, or Caucasian-American. Yeah. But anyway, all right, so uh, God promised to save mankind when, our, on, when Adam, our foreparent, uh, Adam and Eve, they sinned. And remember, Adam and Eve, God didn't make Adam and Steve, or such like, or Eve and and another female uh, supposed to be together. No, no homosexuality. Uh, so our foreparent uh, sin, but God promised right there, and then the woman shall bear a son that will crush the head of Satan, and he shall bruise his heel. In return, uh, his heel going to be bruised. And that's what happened when Jesus crushed Satan. He rose with all power, crushed Satan. Satan have no more authority. He's just tricking us. We'll just live for Jesus. All right, here now. So the church does start, praise God, and they're ministering, praise God, and um, spreading throughout the world, uh, Asia, Asia Minor, Middle East there, and so on, now throughout the world. All right, so we had Acts chapter 6. And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. So a lot of people getting saved, even the Grecians. Uh-huh. Because their widow, widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look he out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over the business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And the saying pleased the, the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicomor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch whom they set before the apostles, and when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. And the word of God increased, increased, and the number of the disciples 
multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose certain of this synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Liber, Liberitian and Cyrenian and Alexandrians, and of them of Cilicia and of Asia, disputing with Stephen. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Then they suborned men, which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes and came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council and set up false witnesses, which said, This man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against the this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the custom which Moses delivered us. And all that sat in this council, looking steadfast on him, on Stephen, saw his face as it has been the face of an angel. Wow, powerful story. You have to read it yourself. And he became the first martyr. Mm, they kill him. Yes. But he stand for, for the truth, for Jesus Christ, for God and Christ. And when before he died, he see Jesus standing at the right hand of, of God in heaven. Praise God. All right, let's get to the song. Praise God, uh, which bring you salvation, encourage you. Praise God, whether you're man, woman, and boys and girls. All right, worship turn into praises. Mm. Holy Lord God Almighty. Praise God. Holy Lord, you are holy. Holy Lord, you are holy. 